What's the beginning of the zombie storyline? It's a difficult question to answer because when you really think about it, there are a number of different places in the zombie storyline that you can point to and say, this is the start. And of course, this question becomes immediately difficult to answer once you consider many different universes and loops, but let's take a look at it. Let's try to answer what may actually be the start of the zombie storyline. So if we look at this from a chronological perspective, perhaps you can say December 31st, 1933 is the beginning of the zombie storyline, Mob of the Dead. However, Mob of the Dead is kind of in its own bubble, and while it definitely affects the rest of the zombie storyline, it's not what really sets the events in motion. It's not the catalyst of the zombie storyline. The next thought would then be Knocked Air on Toten, which would take place during World War II. And there isn't really much of a story here. We have four Marines or four US soldiers who crash down and they're the only survivors in their plane. And as we learn from the description, you drove them deep into the heart of the Reich. You thought they were dead, you were wrong, and your crew will eventually get murdered by the onslaught of zombies. This is the first zombies map, and you could argue the first map to have a story, if you want to consider this map to have a story. Sure, we have the loading screen, but that's a mystery enough, and maybe because Treyer keeps hearkening back to it, as they did in Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3, this is the first zombies map. Although, what if you actually want to look at it from the perspective of the greater overarching story? Because if that's the case, it certainly isn't knocked there on Toten. We could look at what Monty says. Monty explains that really things began and things started to go to shit when Group 935 started meddling with Element 115. In the beginning, and believe me, there was a beginning, everything was in its proper place. Time was linear, just as it should be. But a little thing called Element 115 changed all that. Especially when, what was it again? Oh, yes, when Group 935 came along. Once they started messing around with it, they buggered everything up. 115 shouldn't even exist in your dimension. But nonetheless, here we are. Bloody teleporters. Once Element 115 came along, the Apothecons weren't far behind. Have I uh, mentioned them yet? If this is the case, if we want to consider when Group 935 started meddling to be the beginning, well then let's look at some original Group 935 documents. We have this periodic table from Dr. Maxis from the year 1917. This is when Dr. Maxis first discovers Divinium, element 115. and. Maybe you can count the discovery of Element 115 as the beginning of the zombie storyline. Or perhaps maybe you want to consider when they first started working with Element 115 as the beginning. The earliest known letter we have of them discussing them really working with Element 115 would come from this letter from the field written by Richthofen on September 22nd, 1917, which reads, When we began the site excavations, our group could not predict the dark path down which this would lead us. The doctor remains both adamant and optimistic that the potential applications for the newfound element are worth the associated risks. I concur with the sentiment, but feel increasingly anxious as to the changes I'm seeing in my oldest friends. This, to me, seems like the best logical place to call it the start of the zombie storyline, because this is what really sets everything in motion. This is shortly after Group 935 discovers Element 115, and they start to begin meddling with it, and Richtofen even sees the dark path that they are about to go down. He's almost calling it the beginning of the end, and after this we have all of the events of Origins, and then we have the journey that our characters go through, and then they repeat the cycle. Now hold on a minute. What about the cycle? Our characters are in an infinite loop. Once they go through Origins, they go on the journey of Black Ops 3, and then it ends with them coming back as the Ancients, and then eventually they die, but time continues to move forward until we get to a point in history in the early 1900s where all our characters, or at least the late 1800s, where our characters are born again, and now they're about to go on the same journey over and over and over again. And 
is there ever really a beginning to the circle? You could go to any point in time and say, all right, everything moves from here on out and you'll eventually reach back to where you started. There is no start to a circle and maybe there isn't supposed to be a beginning to the zombie storyline. I'd like to leave you with one more year, the year 1908. 1908 was the year of the Tunguska event. This was a real meteor that crashed down in Siberia. Now in the zombie storyline, this is one of the known sources of element 115 and one of the earliest known sources of element 115. And if this was the case, then we really discovered element 115 in the year 1908, which contradicts the idea of the element 115 being discovered in 1917. Perhaps it's discovered at different times in different universes, and maybe if we want to call the beginning of the zombie storyline when we really first started interacting with element 115, it varies from universe to universe. This is a difficult question to answer, and I brought this up because I wanted to explore all the many different routes and all the many different avenues and show you how complicated this story is. It's so difficult that we can't even pin down one single beginning, and we have conflicting reports of when the beginning is. And of course, as I previously mentioned, how can you have a beginning in a circle? And that's going to wrap things up for this video. If you enjoyed it or found this discussion interesting, please do let me know. Are there other suggestions you have for the beginning of the zombie storyline that maybe I haven't included in this video? I'd like to hear your thoughts and suggestions. I'm going to go, though. Have a wonderful day, and bye.